Today on a bear moor guy. Bear moor guys looking at the Hobbit. The unexpected desolation of the five armies, or something like that. That's not what he has to say. Brought to you by the bear moor guy. Hi, the bear moor guy. Today we're looking at the Hobbit. All three movies. I I just gave it the nice big weird title because it's, it's covering all the movies. Because pretty much all these movies to me are one big story or smaller story. And I wasn't reviewing films when they came out last year, so I'm doing it all in one shot. It's just, it, it's just the way it is. The Hobbit's about a guy named Bill Bo Baggins. He lives a nice quiet life. He's a hobbit. Hobbits are nice quiet people that do farming and are really short and just want to be left alone. And a wizard comes to him named Gandalf, which you probably know because you've watched Lord of the Rings, and picks him for a journey to go with 13 dwarves to reclaim a treasure that is guarded by a dragon. That's all I'm really going to say, because it's like, you've, you've either seen the movies or you haven't. If you haven't seen the movies or read the book, you should probably do that. If you have, well, there's no point in me recapping it all for you. It's just what I said. So, I'm first going to start out what I thought was really good, okay? Number one, the acting. Acting was terrific. Martin Freeman is great as Bilbo. He's just fantastic. It's the perfect person. Watson from Sherlock Holmes, who knew he would make great Bilbo, but he makes a terrific Bilbo. He totally plays the flustered Bilbo, and then the scared Bilbo, and then the courage Bilbo, and then the Bilbo that's just like, Psh, I got this. He totally plays them all great. And the guy who plays Thorin, who I can't remember his name and I'm not going to look it up because I'm way too lazy, he did a really terrific job. You know what? Pretty much everyone did. There was no really bad acting. All the dwarves were good for what they were. All the... All the orcs were good for what they were. All the dwarves, no, I said dwarves. All the elves, yeah, those two. The elves and the men and all that stuff. They were all good. The music's great as always. The The score is just fantastic. It, it harkens back to Lord of the Rings, but does its own thing also. So it's just, overall, it's just awesome. It's great music to kind of drive to. Makes you feel like you're going somewhere. Just epic when you're really going to the grocery store. And the effects, for the most part, are terrific. Like, the dragon looks great, and a lot of Middle Earth looks great. There are a few shots, though, especially in the middle film, that are just... You look at them going, that's not great CGI. I don't know, like, what happened in particular, but for some reason the CGI kind of took a holiday. Or the guy doing the CGI took a holiday, and his replacement wasn't nearly as good. And he got back and was like, oh crap, well I'm not going to fix everything, so he just kept on going. So that's all good. What the problem like, with these films is, they made it three movies. Now, let me put it this way, okay? Lord of the Rings, I consider Lord of the Rings to be one of the greatest movies ever made. You put it all together as one movie because it really is one movie because it really is one book. And it's one of the greatest films ever made, one of the best made films. Now, you could say... Well, yeah, but that's way more epic than The Hobbit. The Lord of the Rings is a much bigger thing. And it is. I totally agree with you. But the problem with The Hobbit is they made it three movies. And because they made it three movies, they had to put stuff in there that didn't need to be there. Okay, here's, here's my confession. I've never read Lord of the Rings. So I had nothing to compare it to. So when I watched Lord of the Rings, I didn't know if they were leaving stuff out, adding things in. And thus I was ignorant, thus ignorance is bliss, I enjoyed it more. I read The Hobbit in school when I was a kid. I've read it since then. I read it to my daughters leading up to going to see the first movie. So it's like 300 pages, like 314 I think, 16 maybe, I don't know, I can't remember. But it's not a thousand page book. And the things that happen in it aren't as epic as Lord of the Rings for a lot of it. And that's okay. That's, there's nothing wrong with that. But then they decided to make it three movies. Okay, so they made it three movies long, so they added things. And they desperately wanted to try to connect this to Lord of the Rings. Which, in my opinion, is a big mistake. The Hobbit was written first. There was no connection to Lord of the Rings except for the ring. When Bilbo found the ring, he did not know he found the ring. He didn't know about the ring. He's a hobbit. He doesn't know about such things. And most of the people had forgotten about it. But they wanted to connect it desperately to Lord of the Rings. So it was like, oh, it's like a prequel, blah, blah, blah. No, it was made first, technically, in the book form. So they have these old side quests for Gandalf, and you have like this, like just trying to force the ring in there. 
There's like another wizard that has poop in his hair. Like, I'm just with rabbits. There's so much stuff that I'm just like, why is this here? And why is this here? And what? And then they add like a romance. Oh, we'll just throw a romance in there. There was no romance. I understand having Legolas. You know what? I don't even, I don't begrudge Legolas because Legolas is a wood elf. He might have been there. Who knows? That's okay. You can play that one in. But the whole romance thing with like, the poor, it, it, oh, it's just, it was stupid. It wasn't necessary. And then they changed things, like the four guys stay back in Lake Town because the one guy's injured. That never happened in the book. And they only did it because they wanted to have a battle scene when they, it was just like, exactly. And okay, so you're like at this point, shut up about the book. Well, guess what? The reason there was never mentioned in the book is because it wasn't necessary and it, Here's the difference. They had Lord of the Rings is one of the best movies ever made, and The Hobbit is not even close. I give Lord of the Rings five beards across the board. They're great films. They're awesome films. They're incredible films. And for The Hobbit as a whole, each film got the same score for me. You want to know what that score is? Tough luck, I'll tell you in a minute. The problem is, they're not nearly as good. And anyone who says, oh, The Hobbit is, is just as good as Lord of the Rings, you're wrong. Sorry. They're not as good. Now, they could have been, and that's the thing. Yeah, they're not as epic as Lord of the Rings, but you could have, if they would have made it two movies and tighten the story up and take out all the stupid politics and the bromance and the white dwarf with the hands that are missed. Like, sure, there was a thing like a, in the battle, but they're never talked about like that. So many things added, not necessary, and so many things that they could have put in that they didn't. I don't understand, and it's just two films. A nice, tight two films, staying close to the material, and you know what? I would probably consider them to be just as good as Lord of the Rings, but they're not, and that's the problem. And I, I think we're all in agreement they're not. And that's why they get 3.5 beards out of five. They're just not as good as Lord of the Rings, which disappoints me, because I was hoping. And I was really hoping that Guillermo del Toro would get to direct them because that would have been awesome. But instead, Peter Jackson wanted his spotlight again and he took it and lots of big battles that mean nothing and extra, so never mind. I do like the Hobbit movies on some level, but there's so many things that drive me nuts about them that it's hard to enjoy them the same way I enjoyed Lord of the Rings. And unfortunately, I think it all comes down to greed, just wanting three movies. Three movies means it's a whole extra movie and you get a whole lot more money and I get that this is a business, but this is also an art form. And artistically, The Hobbit does not stand up to Lord of the Rings because they went for the money. It's that simple. So let me know, what do you think of The Hobbit? Does it compare? Is it better? Are you crazy? I don't know. It takes all types. But it was great seeing Middle Earth again and Gandalf and yeah. Thanks for watching, and until next time, stay bearded, everyone. You've been watching the Better Little Guys, Hobbit, the unexpected journey of the dragon with the smog and the armies, and the, my phone rang. Anyway, it's unexpected stuff with journeys and hobbits and dragons and yeah, it, it was it was good. Could have been better, but it's good. Till next time. Subscribe and tell your friends. And as always, you're Tom Seffer.